What's up, everybody? I am not a software engineer, but today we're going to troubleshoot an issue that was actually pretty, uh, pretty much a huge pain in the butt, and that was getting Kali Linux installed on this Lenovo X1 Carbon just before DEF CON. So, of course, I needed to go ahead and figure out how to do that, and I thought I would share it with you all just in case you run into the same issue. So, all you actually need for this are two USB drives that you can see here. One is 8 gigs and one is 4 gigs. Uh, one is going to be for the operating system, Kali Linux in this case, and the other is going to be for the firmware file. So I have inserted USB drive one, as you can see here, and there is absolutely nothing on it because I've already formatted it. So what I'm going to do is actually go to my OS's directory, and then I am going to go into the Rufus executable, and that of course will require me to accept. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and select my Kali Linux ISO, and I can simply do that here. So with Kali selected, what I can go ahead and do is change the volume label. I'm just going to call this Kali and hit start. And I will write this in ISO mode. And then it's going to ping me saying, are you sure you want to delete everything? This is where we double check that, in fact, the F drive is the 8 gigabyte USB thumb drive that we want to format. I'll go ahead and hit OK. And once it says ready again, we can actually see that the volume label reverts back to what it's called based on the ISO. And if we look in the actual Explorer window, we can see that it's called Kali. And if we click on that, we can basically see everything that we see here. And at this point, we can go ahead and remove the USB. So on this website right here, you can basically see it's packages.debian.org, and then we're searching for the firmware dash IWL Wi-Fi. Uh, I can go ahead and click on Bookworm because that's the actual stable one, and then I can hit Architecture All, and then basically we get a list of mirrors. I'm going to go ahead and right-click and save link as, and then save this to my firmware directory on the desktop. And of course now we see the firmware file on the directory here, and I can go ahead and insert the second USB. All right, so now I have inserted USB 2. As you can see here, there is nothing on it. I'm going to go ahead and drag over my firmware file that I downloaded to the firmware directory and just place that right here. All right, so I'm going to spam F12. And then we're going to see the USB drive. And I'm going to go ahead and launch from that USB drive. And we have a graphical install for Kali. So this looks pretty normal and we haven't hit any issues yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter here. And I'm just gonna hit continue for the first couple options. No issues yet, no issues yet. So right here, this is the issue. And uh, I'm gonna try and display this as best as I can with a cell phone image. But basically the Wi-Fi adapter on this X1 Carbon is not installing properly. And now that we're back where the air is, you can basically see me take this USB drive and then just throw it right in here. And at this point, I'm gonna give it like, I don't know, five seconds. And basically just hit yes. Uh, I do have the installation media because now it's on the installation media and I can hit continue. And with a little bit of luck here, we will go ahead and detect the network hardware. And so there it is. There's a list of SSIDs that I can connect to. So I'm going to go ahead and enter the password for my SSID and then continue the installation process. Um, note that I'm actually only going to install the GUI uh, portion of Kali, which is XFCE. So now I've actually logged into Kali and I am basically installing everything using the sudo apt-get install Kali Linux everything. Um, I'll actually put the command in the description for this video, but I'm going to let this sit and then all of my Kali Linux tools will be installed and I'll be ready to go.